Do you find embroidery on windows tend to be confusing and overwhelming at times? What about unzipping files and the dreaded ZIPP files from Facebook? In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, change, and unzip files, send them to the zip drive, and to your machine. Watch until the end. Tip number three will show you how to save time and see your embroidery designs bigger and better. But first, my intro. Number one, downloading and renaming files. I'm in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group and people have been having trouble downloading files. Now, the reason why we have to upload them with the ZIPP as the extension, which by the way, your computer has no idea what it is, um, is because Facebook doesn't allow us to upload zip files, so just ZIP files that your computer understands. We could upload every single format that we usually do, but it's going to become harder and harder as the years go on to find what you're looking for because there isn't really a search thing. You can use the search over here, but you know, we, we kind of want it to be a little neater and tidier. So let me show you guys how to do this. So what you do is you click on right here. Now see original post is handy, but we want to go to download. So click on download and you see it downloads right here. Now normally for a zip file, you could double click on this and unzip it. But for these ones with the ZIPP extension, your computer has no idea what a ZIPP extension is. So we have to do it just a little bit differently. So let's go on to our file explorer. Now here's the icon and click on it and it shows you all the files in your computer. So what we're what we want to go to is this PC or you may have it up here on the shortcut right at the top quick access and it's right here it goes to your download folder automatically. Okay, right here is the file that we just downloaded. Now it shows a white page because your computer doesn't know that it's a zip file. The zipper on it is what's going to show you that it's a zip file. So we need to change this so that we can unzip it. So what you do is you right click on it and you go down to rename and you can do the actual name of it. But in this case, I'm fine with spring flowers B and all you have to do is go to the end, press your backspace key, and then press enter. And it says if you change a file name extension, the file might become un unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? I am. And look, it changes to a zip file that the computer recognizes. That is awesome. So double click on that and it opens it up. Now, if you double click on the designs, you can see that they're all there. Now, you can't use them yet because you have to extract it. Now, people don't necessarily understand this, but if you put it in, to a little analogy here. It's like having a jar and you can see what's in the jar, but you can't use it until you open it. So this is what the extract all does. It opens the jar of files so you can have access to them and you can use them. So let's go to extract all. And this is what you have to do on every zip file. Extract all, tell it where you want it to be extracted and click extract. Um, I already have it done, that's why it's saying replace, but it's just opening it up for us. And now we can use the designs. If you see, they have icons. So we can actually see what they are and uh, then you can use them. Okay, so now that we have our files extracted and we can use them, I wanna show you guys how to send the files to a zip drive and the machine. So this is number two. What you have to do is you're gonna be looking right here where it says this PC. And this is important to know now. Okay, I have a lot in here. You might not have that much, but that's okay. Um, it'll make it easier for you. So this PC is what we're looking at. And I'm gonna plug in my zip drive and you should hear a noise. And 
you that means it's in and you will see right here USB drive G and you can also see it down here too right here USB drive G now let's go back to our files and you see it here that it popped up and it's it can it's not always going to be G it could be any letter that you have but it'll pop up as a new drive all you have to do is left click hold down and drag it over and drag it over the USB drive and you can see it automatically opens up so if you wanted to put it in another folder you could but you see the white there it says copy to USB drive and then you let go and it copies it over and it's done and now it is on your zip drive how cool is that that is so easy to do now the same thing we can do the same thing with our embroidery machine now I have my dream machine 2 plugged into this computer so let me turn it on and you'll hear the noises of the machine turning on but also my computer recognizing that a new drive has been activated so you can hear McDreamy starting you can hear my computer recognizing it and we know it's not G because that's the one that we just did it's right there USB drive N and uh, we can simply use it as you know a drive for the computer and all you have to do it's the same thing grab the file left click and drag and hold it over and let go and now it's going to be sent to your machine now you can't do this unless you have your machine plugged into your computer and your computer recognizes it let's move on to number three so it's really nice to be able to see the icons like i have here and it would be nice if they showed up in every single folder well i'm going to show you guys how to do it if you want to change how these look there's a lot of options for it you can go to the view tab up here and it brings up a whole different list of things you can do with the folder so if you want extra large icons you can click on that medium icons different sizes that one's quite nice small icons it's really hard to see you can make it into a list you can put details you can put tiles which i kind of like this one it's kind of nice it's the the medium icons or content that is nice too there's a lot of information on it but i happen to like the large icons now what happens if you want these large icons to show up on every file folder most people will go into the file and then change every single one every time you go in but there is an easier way there's a shortcut to this set up how you want to see all of your embroidery files and different files on your computer so set it up with you know extra large large i'm going to leave mine at large and go to options over here click and it says change folder and search options that's what i want and it brings this up and we want to go to view and it says right here you can apply this view such as details or icons to all folders of this type which means they're all going to show up the same way this is an awesome tip and trick to make everything so much easier so apply to folders do you want all folders of this type to match this folders view settings yes i do do I absolutely do so click yes and click OK and any folder that you go into will have the large icons the large thumbnails if you don't like it or if you pick extra large and it takes a long time for everything to ren render then all you have to do is go and change it to smaller obviously smaller pictures will come in faster so you don't have to wait I am perfectly fine with the large icons I don't bother with the extra large ones because they do take a while to come in even on my monster computer so large icons but if you ever get tired of it change it hopefully you guys will find it a little bit easier to get around in uh, windows at, with your embroidery files please comment and let me know if this video was helpful 
and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!